Topping the news this evening, the government is considering buying the Grand Bahama International Airport, which was severely damaged during Hurricane Dorian. The airport is currently being managed by Hutchinson Wampoa. However, Minister of Tourism and Aviation, the Honorable Dionisio Diagular, says the company seems reluctant to rebuild. To rebuild that airport could cost 20, 30, 40 million dollars. You have to figure out where that money is going to come from. You have to uh, um, um, consider who the operator is going to be. You have to consider how that airport makes money. So when before we spend uh, um, the money of the people of the Bahamas, we have to consider all these things. And I don't think the government wants to be um, uh, rushed into making that decision. We understand that it is critical to the economy of Grand Bahama. We're very sensitive to that. Um, but. We, we have to think through the purchase. Everybody's just focused on, are you going to buy it? Are you going to buy it? It's okay, what do you do when you buy it? You can't just buy it and then it just sits there. You've got to have a plan. Now, Minister Diagolo says if the government buys the airport, the objective will be to ensure that it's financially viable. So the objective is to, to determine what is going to be the revenue source. How is it going to, to self-fund itself? Um, and that is what uh, we're looking at, looking at the business model. Um, obviously, we look to, to NAD, the, the, the model of the LPIA. Um, clearly, they have a lot more traffic than Grand Bahama. So we're trying, to, we're trying to figure out what is the business model and how is it working. You can't sort of make that decision right on the fly. You've got to do a lot of research. You've got to get all the financials. You've got to consider all of those things. So um, are we considering it? Yes, but we're working through all of the proposals and how we would make it work once we acquired it.